we're on our quest to find the best and worst beauty hacks out there on the internet. And so today we've got a new one to go through from Crafty Panda. Hello and welcome to the Queendom. My name's Sarah Engel and today we're continuing our quest to find the best and worst beauty hacks and hair hacks on the internet, see which ones are good and which ones are garbage. Today I have a video that one of you guys sent in. So a big thank you to Mary Ellsworth. Thank you Mary for sending this one in. We have a new source for our information today. It's one from Facebook called Crafty Panda and it's called Daily Struggles? 15 beauty hacks to help you out. I hope we're gonna get to bust some myths, but I also hope we find some really great hacks that we can use today. So let's just dive right into it with our 15 beauty hacks from Crafty Panda. Why is she wearing a full face of makeup into the shower? Girl, girl, you gotta, you gotta use your makeup remove. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. This is just the quintessential unnecessary. It's a DIY, like a why? Because we like you. My guess is even the moisture, there's gonna be so much moisture in the air, even if you've got it totally blocked from your face. It's, there's moisture just in the air anyways, and it's probably, if you're washing your hair, it's probably gonna seep down in there anyways. I just, this doesn't make sense to me for a couple reasons. <laughs> you wanna cleanse your face. Like a shower is a really good opportunity to clean your face. Um, obviously, it's the time you're cleaning your whole body. Uh, but it's a good time where you like got the heat going on. I know there's some debate about it, like how much it actually opens up your pores. It seems unnecessary. I think that's a lot of the beauty hacks. They're unnecessary. It's like, it's like those like welding helmets only for the shower. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Okay, what's happening here? She took a picture and now she's zooming in. Oh no! <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh no, why is she laughing at her? She's mean. If you've got a friend like that, you need to get them out of your life. Why is she upset? Oh. Eyebrow. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking at this from far away. So I couldn't see that her eyebrows were horribly unsymmetrical. Remove the makeup. Oh, she looks so much better. <gasps> when she removed the makeup. Floss. Eyebrow pencil. You know what, I suppose that could work, but then you definitely have to start with your eyebrows because you have already have your foundation done and you just messed it up with floss paint on your face. <laughs> and honestly, my real hack for eyebrows is get your eyebrows microbladed. In fact, I need mine re-microbladed. They've officially rubbed almost completely off. It's been a couple years now, like three years now. Yoga! Yoga poses. What's happening? Loose hair tie, hot water. You actually can, but I don't think that's a hack. I think it literally says that you can put them in hot water on the package. It also says you can blow dry them with a blow dryer and it shrinks them back down. It's really easy, but that's not a hack. It literally says that on the package it comes in and that's how they're made. Sticking out baby hair. Oh, are they gonna do the toothbrush with hairspray hack? What? Deodorant? Oh! Deodorant in your hair? That's gross. That is unnecessary. I can't imagine what that does to your scalp. Like, I don't know what's in there. I just, I just feel like it would look gross. A real hack, if you've got the little flyaway hairs, you can take a toothbrush with sometimes gels or hairspray works really well, and just take the toothbrush and, and comb through it. And I thought that's what we were gonna do. Is this makeup remover? 
Micellar water, yes, that's meant for removing makeup. What? What? What just... Is that real? Hold on. I have to try it. Okay, I'm probably about to make a huge mess, but we gotta try that. I now have micellar water foam all over. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is necessarily easier than just spreading the cotton pad all over your face. Uh, but it does work. I like this one. I'm gonna go if I like this one, that was fun. Since we're talking about makeup removal, double cleansing is a great thing to do. A lot of micellar waters, you can even leave on your skin. If you can use like, um, like an oil-based makeup remover, so remove all the makeup first and then use a face wash after that. It allows you to remove all the makeup so if you've got like a clean slate to work with and your facial cleanser has the opportunity to go into your pores and clean all the gunk out. My skin does not do well um, with washing with a facial cleanser twice a day. It makes me break out. My skin's just very sensitive and you're always breaking that skin barrier every time you do it. So if you're someone who notices the more you wash your face, it seems like the worse your skin gets. Washing, um, especially with a double cleanse, just once a day might be all you need. But if you do that, just make sure no matter what, you are always removing makeup before you go to bed. So just a little public service announcement there. That was a fun hack. Oh, curling iron. Oh, what's she gonna do with her hair? Water bottle? Oh, there's a lot of things you can do with water bottle. I'm curious, where's this going? Does that work? I know in a case with really, really, really long hair like mine, you would either have to have the world's largest water bottle <laughs> or it's just gonna curl the end if it works. I don't know if that works. So maybe that's when we try. So let me know in the comments if you want me to try that. Not tan enough. <laughs> that's me, self tanning lotion. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you're just not supposed to put the tanning lotion on your hands. You either use a mitt, like they, that's why they sell tanning lotion mitts. They put it on more smoothly and you don't get junk all over your hand. And even if you do use your hands, sometimes I use my hands for my face, you just wash it off. That is true. If you have self tanner, I have heard can be removed with things like lemon. There's a lot of things you can do to remove self-tanner if you need. Um, but that's at least, it's at least true. Ooh, baking soda. Is your eyeliner all dried up? Oh no! But don't worry, you can, what? Are you using colored pencils? I actually believe you could probably do this. It's just a type of pigment. I don't know if it's supposed to be safe for using by your eyes, but I think it would work. That's really close. I don't know what's what's in there, but theoretically, yeah, that should work. Divide your little bun thingy in two. Now divide that thingy into threes. Oh, you're gonna braid it. And then you're gonna put it somewhere in the middle. Oh, and now you got a cute little bow. That's cute. Oh, just like hate watching that. She's like, let me destroy this lipstick. <gasps> First of all, please don't smush your phone against your face. It's a really great way to give yourself acne. Um, I won't even hold my phone to my head. Oh no, look what I accidentally did because I was too busy talking on the phone. I accidentally and destroyed my lipstick. Said no one ever. But I will say Crafty Panda has been so much better than five minute crafts or Troom Troom or Bright Side. So we like Crafty Panda better.
Oh, so she cut it perfectly in half? You have only half of it that is in absolute pristine condition so that it can be sliced and plopped into another. I mean, I suppose it's still a hack. Like you could chop a piece of one lipstick off and put it onto another. I just don't know the practicality of this. Life hacks that make your life more difficult. Oh, and I have two-tone lips. Oh, look, she's got a little puppy stuffed animal. And now she's doing her makeup. What does the puppy stuffed animal have to do with? Oh, she didn't make a puppy? I'm confused, what? Is she painting? I missed whatever the hack was. What is the hack? And now we're blending them all to blend it to get a custom color. That's like a, okay. I think sometimes blending colors can be good if there's like a specific shade you want, but the more colors you blend together, especially when you've got in this case, things like blues, but also orange based things. When you mix them all together, you're gonna start to get this muddy grayish block color. And nobody to my knowledge wants gray lips unless you're trying to look like a zombie, which for Halloween could be great. Okay, so we've got eyeliner. Is that what's happening? Whoa, that's like way out on your face. Girl, you know you're not even trying, but I appreciate the attempt to sell this to us. Oh, it's an eraser that looks like butter. Exacto knife, your butter eraser. Now we're hot gluing. You could probably do that. But you better have a very precise uh, exacto knife with your, your eraser. But it looks, it looks good. It could work if you really struggle with it. Well, that, that was exaggerated. But you've got to exaggerate this. It's, it's the way you do it. That actually can be useful. You can actually do that. That is, that is true. They're like, yeah, would you like to try it? She's like, yeah, oh no. Are they going to share a mascara one? That's disgusting. Something with her lips. And they chapped, is that what's happening? Oh no, what happened? Wasabi. <laughs> I like that just because it's wasabi, <laughs> we have to use chopsticks for it. <laughs> but the yogurt, we're all fine and dandy. We use spoon, but wasabi, you must use chopsticks. Is this like a lip scrub? It could be a lip exfoliant. But they actually make lip scrubs, that's probably easier. He's like, oh, what? <laughs> His reaction! He's like, oh, want more awesome DIY videos? Crafty Panda! You know what, Crafty Panda? You have way better stuff than Troom Troom or Brightside. I think most of those were, were, were pretty good. Still some bizarre setups and some weird moments, but as a whole, much better. Thank you again to Mary Ellsworth for sending that in. If any of you guys ever have something that you think would be fun to react to and go through together, please feel free to send those to me because as you see, we actually do go through them. <laughs> Anyways, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below if you've ever tried one of the hacks here because I feel like some of the ones on this were actually ones that I think are pretty like commonly known hacks and they are real hacks. So I'm just happy we, we found one that's better. So we're going to continue our quest finding the best and the worst hair and beauty hacks out there. So if you wanna see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. We put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so ring the little bell if you want those to come right to you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I made a weird little clicky noise with my mouth. We're on our quest to find the best and worst bu bu <laughs> And today, we're reacting to and finding out Let's just see this thing. Oh, we gotta make a full screen. How do I, do I, there we go. Oh, this just, right off the bat. Wow. 
I almost kind of felt bad for the lemon. <laughs> So stupid, but I was like that poor lemon wanted to be eaten. That was like its purpose and its little Existence and you used it to scrape the self tanner off your hands that shouldn't have been there in the first place Sorry the music is just really interesting Yeah